Hello again. Now we want to get a book from Seneteca to our mathem to a Mathematica editor and put that uh, to the database. So because you have to do that uh, several times because you need a library to work with if you want to make the experiments and therefore I made it as simple as uh, possible. So very few clicks and uh, commands. But I want to show you how it works and by that you can check whether your the setup of the system is uh, properly done. So first we go to uh, Xenoteca and uh, look for a book we are interested in uh, to work with. So uh, go for example for Ackermanns, these books, representation and visual arts, Ackermann. Okay, now we need the PDF as a source. It's always good to have the thoughts. We put it in our library to the books, architecture. I have this uh, organization. You can do it differently. So these are all my books. I make these marks if I uh, if all the proce uh, uh, procedures are done and it's working properly and it's ready to work with. So now we need a new folder. Um, rotation conventions and, and visual arts. Huh? Conventions in visual arts. So take this name, this should be specific enough. I always took a small letter uh, s uh, surname of the author and then a combination of capital letters uh, to pr uh, represent the book. So save it as it is and we do the same with uh, the HTML zip file. So because if you have the HTML files, these are a lot of files and then it, it's very slow. Zip is one uh, channel and then it's, it's done. So keep it as it is in the same folder. So then okay, it's coming. My internet is not too fast. Here we are, leave that, go to the file system. This is my library, these are my books, architectural books. These are the books I prepared. And uh, we have Ackermanns here, we are here. These are our files. We can check the book, get an idea of how it looks like. Okay, you get an idea, nice pictures can work with that. Good. We have that. I like it. Now uh, the zip file we have to uncompress it. Here we are. We can forget the uh, zip and we need to rename this, uh, this uh, directory and this needs the name HTML without any extension. So you have to do it here, not here because here most, in most cases you don't see the extensions. Here we have names and ex extensions. So have that and this is the preparation in your file system for a book. So okay now Mathematica. You always go uh, with the start file in our distribution. So we have the distribution here start and have it here. So now we evaluate and the system is uh, set up to our environment. We have to identify our library where all our notebooks and our working is. Get it here. And if your database is installed properly, it will ask for the password for the database connection. And uh, now it's done.
Okay. So now go to and uh, media and to parse PDF. You have uh, the description, a tutorial, how to get a PDF uh, to <clears throat> to a notebook, and this is a comprehensive function here. Uh, it simply says MTP book create. If you have uh, MTP book create, these are all the different uh, parsers uh, which works in a similar way and very simple. So go here and uh, ask. No, it's not here. I create PDF. So now. Yeah, you have the, uh, ah, we need the JPEGs. Okay, cancel it. Um, I missed it. Library, books, architecture, ready. Accounts. So we need to create the JPEGs. We can do it with, uh, with the fine reader, but you have to pay for it. There's an open source uh, software. It's called um, <clears throat> any free PDF to JPG converter. On PC it's similar. So and that's a fast one and uh, gets good quality. So go back here and put in our Ackermann. Take him and put him here. And okay, put it. That's a little unfortunate with this tool. We have to go for the proper directory, the same, so they don't say it should be the same. And put it here and then say start. Then it's converting. And putting all the JPEGs of all the pages, and that's quite fast. Good. Good. With that, so again, this directory here should be JPEG. So this is these naming conventions. They are the key to that my as it my programs and the functions uh, can identify that you are doing you know what you're doing and that there are no errors and then he knows what to expect therefore it's a little it's a level you have to meet that the system says okay uh, try whether it's working or not so if I don't make it uh, simpler so we have it here go now for the book create we go for books and identify these books we can identify a whole uh, directory and it's looking for it but now we have this book and choose that now it's asking for the metadata we say this is English uh, it's of type book and the source is Sinotica uh, and we say okay now we create the uh, metadata and now he's parsing the pages Okay, here we are. Good. Now it's finished. And uh, you see it, it was long because of a quite heavy book with a lot of pictures. <coughs> uh, but uh, now we are finished and it looks like that. 
and uh, its proper to work with. So check it. We have the sources, so we can work properly with it. Or we have the sources of the scan. So good book to work with. Good. Now <clears throat> you see we have the meta file, we have the uh, Mathematica notebook, the 13 megabytes, we have the plain text. I'm not sure whether we will uh, use it because the database is super fast and might be more efficient just to work with the database. But we have the source with the uh, PDF. We are able to reconstruct the whole story from out this PDF. We have our sources we can uh, work with. And now I want to put that to database. For that we go here to uh, on the database. Uh, set up save books to the database. Go here, how to use. And it's uh, very simple again. <coughs> uh, Just go here and say Ackerman, this should work. Now he's parsing the 13 megabytes. So looking for all the cells, reading them and then writing 6, elements, uh, 2,600 elements, fragments, uh, to the database. And uh, the result is here 1 always means it's worked for each cell. So you can have a semicolon and then uh, this is not shown. So there might be some errors. If you want to suppress these errors, I put, uh, and you will see, now you will see it. And if you put uh, the quiet in front of it, you suppress the warnings. So there should be of no trouble for you if there are uh, errors. So the errors are not should not interest you. Interest you. But now, go to the database. You have the database on, and uh, my editor. I showed you DB the Beaver. We can go there, but I I am uh, here with my Postico. So uh, I connected to my database. These are the tables. My, uh, the database is with the cells. You can see it. And uh, these are all the cells, like I showed you in dBeaver. So now I can say, look for book name and say Ackermann. And now I see the 2,648 cells of Ackermann in order. That's fine. And we can, for example, ask, say plus, uh, ask for all the images. Not book name, but the medium is image. And now you see all the images. There are, uh, or let's uh, put it into, because there might be multiple media. Put it here, and you see we have 171 images. So these are the UIDs. Just to show you how it works, uh, copy the cell and now I can say MTP. These are all the commands uh, I deliver with mathematical thinking and programming. If you have, want to see the database commands I providing, this is DB. We can uh, ask for all of them by a, a star and ask here, and then we get all the database commands I had. But normally it's for internal things. But you can get the cell of the UUID. So therefore I take this command here, here, and say this should be with um, my number here. Copy cell. 
this should be a string. So, and if I do that, oops. That's not working. Ah, uh, here, URD, not the, not the key. Yeah, yeah, URD, this one. Copy. Paste, yeah. This one, okay. Now, here we are. This is the, the code, and if we want to see that, then we say cell print. And then we have the cell. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. So the uh, the idea is that uh, you uh, get a couple of of books around your interest, put it into your library, work like this on that, fill it to your library, to your, your database, and then. I will show you what uh, nice things you can do if you fragmented uh, your documents and you're able to mix and rearrange uh, all these fragments, all the pictures, all the texts of your uh, library for according to your question. So then you rotate the fragments of, the, uh, of your library around your question, which is the center point of this uh, spinning wheel of things in the plenty. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.